So if I was doing a similar thing here and I was solving this, the first thing I do is I always take this to the other side, opposite of bond mass. So you get 2x minus 2 squared equals 9. Then I, I've been times here, so I do the opposite of times in, is divide. So I get x minus 2 squared equals 9 over 2. Then I do the opposite of this squaring, which is square root. Don't forget when I square root, I get a positive and a negative. Now one thing to bear in mind here, you can split these up and do 9 root over 2 root. Now the reason why I've done that is because 9 is a perfect square number. 9 is a perfect square number. So I'm just going to write this one extra step, minus 2 is equal to, now because it's an extra uh, perfect square number, we can square root 9 and say that will give us 3 over root 2, and don't forget this will be a plus or a minus, okay? And then you take the minus 2 to the other side, so x would equal 2 plus or minus, now it might expect this, I'm going to give it you, because you might, because this root is at the bottom, it doesn't like that. Okay, they don't like that, they want the, there'll be no thirds in the bottom. And that process, can anybody remember what that process is called? Uh, yeah, where you rationalize the denominator. So if you rationalize the denominator here, what you could do is times top and bottom by root 2. And this... Um, this will end up being, you put the 2 over, this will end up being plus or minus 3 root 2 over root 2 times root 2 is 2. So that will be the final solution. Okay.